with almost every one of these questions, as soon as you can, let's start by drawing a graph. What makes you think graph when you look at this? Well, you've got an equation over here. It's just a straight line. You've got an equation over here. It's an absolute value, so it's going to be one of those weird bouncy curves, right? When you're being asked to solve this, you're being asked to find where is it that these two intersect. That's, that's all an equation like this means, okay? So if I were to draw, and all you need, it's multiple choice. I'm looking for one mark here, right? So I don't even need a beautiful graph. I just need a rough one, right? Let's have a look at what this will look like, okay? 3x plus 2. 3x plus 2, so we know it's going to be fairly steep. What does the 2 tell you? The 2 tells you the y-intercept, so it's been shifted vertically a little bit. So I'm just going to do a rough drawing of that. Okay, now I know this is 2. What's this y value, uh, sorry, this x value going to be? Think about it. It's obviously going to be negative. It's over there on the left hand side. If you were solving for this equals zero, right? This equals zero, then you would add, sorry, you would subtract two from both sides and you would have negative two on the left hand side, you'd divide by three. So I think that's negative two thirds. Are you okay with that? You can pop it in, you can check, okay? That's good. What about this other graph? Absolute value of two x minus one. Well, we know what the absolute, sorry, we know what two x minus one normally looks like. The two tells you it's steeper or less steep? Compared to the other line, steeper or less steep? It's less steep than that one, right? So if I'm calling that gradient three, maybe I'll call that gradient two. Um, it's got a minus one over there, so this has not been shifted up, it's been shifted down, okay? So therefore, this is kind of what two x minus one on its own would normally look like, okay? But I don't have two x minus one, I have the absolute value of 2x minus 1. So what happens to this part over here when you apply an absolute value to it? This part? No, nothing happens to this section over here. Do you agree? Because it's positive, the absolute value of something positive is still positive. Okay? But then when you've got this section down here which is negative, the absolute value of this is going to reflect upwards. Like so. Okay, are you happy with that? Now you're looking for a point of intersection. Immediately, you can discount some of the solutions that are provided to you in this multiple choice question. Because if I have a look, A, B, C, D, you tell me which of these I can disregard. I can disregard C, which has no solutions, because no solutions graphically would mean that they never intersect, but they clearly do. Which other one can I disregard? I can disregard D. Now, this takes a little more thought. Why can't there be two solutions? Like, I know I don't have the whole graph. How do I know there isn't a solution somewhere else? It's about the steepness, right? This is why I asked you about that at the beginning. Now it's going to fly off because of the fan. This is steeper than this, right? So as these go on forever and ever and ever, they're never going to come back together at any point, okay? So therefore, I'm not going to get any solutions on the right-hand side. I'll only get this one solution right here. Okay. Now, if this were like a, a proper extended response question, I would then have to write some equations down and I would have to find the solution algebraically and so on. Okay. But this is multiple choice. So I now want you to have a look again. C and D we um, disregarded because they were ridiculous based on this graph. But if you look a little carefully, again, you can disregard a solution quite quickly with no working out. Which one can you disregard? A. You can disregard A because where is X equals negative three? Well, that's negative two thirds right there, yeah? So that'd be negative one, that makes negative two here, negative three there. That's not where the solution is. Clearly, it's in this little spot here. So I drew a graph. To be honest, this would have happened a lot faster. It's just that I've been talking it through with you so you understand the thinking process. But I'm done. No real computation involved, B, okay? The graph is where all of the logic happens, okay? so you're not doing yourself any favors. If you're like, I can do this with cases, hooray. It's a one mark question, use the one mark method.